entire course. This is also my first video of the entire course, so please be kind. Um, we are going to talk a little bit about stuff you need to do before the tutorials. Um, installations, downloads, and things like that. So we're going to get through this together. So the first thing you need to do is you need to install Git and Git Bash. And a quick Google shows you that Git Bash uh, comes with Git when you download it for Windows. Uh, I personally am sitting on a Windows machine, so it's difficult for me to know exactly what's going to happen if you have a Mac, but you need to Google it. Chances are that if you uh, install Git on your Mac, you will also get Git Bash, but Google that. So when we install Git, we're also going to get Git and Git Bash. If we go to click here and I will um, copy this um, URL into the description for this video so you can just click it and go there. So if we click the download link here, we get to Git for Windows and download. And download. There we go. Wait for it for down to download here. Okay. Now. Let's go to my downloads, ignore all of the other files uh, and go to, and double click the .exe file. Yes, you want to allow this to make uh, changes to your machine and you install this. I wouldn't change anything here unless there's a specific reason you would want to. You go next. This you can uh, keep the way it is. Again, just the default installation should be fine. Uh, again, let Git decide. Yes, just let it happen. The recommended one is fine. This is something that uh, Open SSH and SSH in general is something that you will be covering in the main course. Um, for now, all you need to know, it's another way to authenticate yourself, uh, just like a password. But we won't be going into that in this course. Keep going. Yep. There we go. So note, I haven't changed anything so far. I just leave it with a, a default um, setting so far. Should go pretty quick, as you can see. There we go. And finish. All right. Now we should have Git on the computer. So let's see if we get Git Bash. Again, we're on Windows. So with Mac, you're going to have to kind of figure it out a little bit by yourself. I'm sorry about that, but I, I can't, I don't have two computers. Um, so here we go. We open up the uh, this here and we search for Git Bash and we should get it up like that. Okay, here is the terminal and what it looks like, git bash. So let's go through what this means a little bit. I have a cheat sheet here to, to my side, so that's why I might be glancing a little bit to my right. Okay, so this first part here is your username, the username you have on your computer. And after this at is the name of the of your computer over here. So right now, because you see this here, the tilde, it means we are in the home directory. And I'm going to show you what that means. LS asks the terminal to show me all of the files and folders, everything where I am. Here we go. So this is everything that is contained in my home directory. Now, what does that mean for those who's never, ever, ever seen a terminal or worked with a terminal? Okay, so we're going to go into Explorer, just our normal files, and we are going to go to 
users. Here we go. Now, this pictures, pictures, OneDrive, OneDrive. This and this is exactly the same thing. And now we are going to um, make a GitHub account together. So we go to GitHub, search that on Google, and we go into GitHub and we go to sign up. So enter your email. Now, I have a school mail that I made for this. So here we have that. And you will see how this works. So that is my school mail. Continue and create a password. Now, we are going to get into password passwords and the importance of them uh, later on in this program. But let's just say, make passwords as complicated as you can and still remember it. Actually, I would recommend that you already now start using a, um, uh, a vault or some kind of password handler. So let's see, you can't see it, good. I just made a password, a username. Get it? It's a pun. Eleanor. Ha, I know, I know. Not my idea. No, I do not need product updates. Wow, these have gotten more and more complicated over the years, haven't they? Use the arrows to rotate the animal to face in the direction of the hand. Jesus. 3D? No, it's not 3D. Okay. Cool, I'm not a robot. Okay. I misunderstood it. Wow. Okay. Let me just do that. Bear with me for a second here. It's good, it's good that they have really good security. Okay. Again, bear with me. There we go. Let's see if this works. Welcome to GitHub. How many? Just me. Student, continue. What specific features are you interested in using? For right now, we just want, what do we want? Oh, this is this is some real complicated stuff, but let's just click in everything because you will want this eventually. And just go with it for free. There you go. Now you have a GitHub. Now this is going to take some time to get used to the dashboard because it is quite complicated. We will go through how this works in a later part of this course, this first week actually. But let's just go to home. Uh, here we can uh, create a new repository and let's name it um, my underline first underline repo. There we go. Create a new repository. There we go. Perfect. So now if we go to Oh, we are in the repo. See? 
so now we have our first repo and we can actually um, upload and uh, code, push code here or uh, pull code from this. So this is how easy it is to uh, create a GitHub account. Um, for now, that's all you need to do. Um, and we will go through how to push something up here or take something down from here later in a later tutorial. So good job if you got this far.